Greetings, mortals! I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Vectorio. Vectorio is a free-to-play uh, tower defense game, and you basically let's go for normal desolate yeah, starting power desolate map, normal map, and you are basically building defenses and stuff. So yeah, tutorial. Let's just get. So basically, the enemy are these big red patches. They will send out attacks continuously at you. You slowly get more heat. The more heat you have, the more items you unlock, the more enemies attack you. Now you need money. You get money by putting gold miners on the gold tiles. And as you can see, it's 25 each. Of course, that will slowly start raising the heat. You defend yourself by putting defensive towers down. As you can probably see a theme here. Let's see if I can actually break through. Now what you'll see, you have different types of towers. You unlock a shotgun, as you can see at 500. There's like long range, there's snipers, there's machine guns. And the longer you play, the more things go on. Now, as you saw, they will be adding multiplayer to this game. And when it does, I'm very excited to see what that does. Now, right now, it's just single player. And as you can see, easy, medium, hard, and like everything else. And all you got to do is survive. Now you only have so much energy as you can see down here, and you, which means eventually you're going to have to start removing buildings. Okay, we now have access to shotguns, which I can't actually put onto here, if I'm honest. I don't know why or how, but there you are. But yeah, there's different items and things you can see on the map. I don't really know what they do, because they've never told me. I assume it will eventually. Or would have if I had to have skipped. But yeah, your goal is to slowly expand the Energizer... Obviously makes things better, you also get expansions, so you build in the glowing lit up area. And the map, as you can see, there are big bases. Now, you win by killing the six guardians. I don't quite know what the guardians are, or where the guardians are, but they exist and they're here. So you will be defending our positions very, very happily. We need all the money. Unlocked Energizer to expand your territory. So now we can push out. As you can see, there's only so many buildings and types here. So there's four specials, one is a wall, three specials, one is a wall. But you just go bloop, there. Oh, if I have the 5,000 it bloody costs anyway. Obviously, I don't need to defend this area. And there you go. This is how we do the do to do. The more gold we have, the more money we get, of course. Which means you can start put lots of turrets down. Like, I'm going to start putting a lot of ranger turrets down to wipe out that base. Ranger turrets are my snipery turrets. And obviously the game doesn't have too much excitement going on to it. But it's definitely fun. There will be larger attacks as time goes by, of course. Let's actually put some gold storage down. Now we have up to 51,000, so we don't have any of these, you see a thousand max, thousand, and zero max, we don't, I'm not sure I can actually put miners down for them. No, yellow miners are only for yellow, so I need better miners, that's fine. Yeah, 1500, dead easy, so the beginning of the game is very much just expanding to all the gold sites you can and prepare to wipe out some of these bases. There aren't uh, that many on the map as you can see. This is a normal of course. But they're all still slowly spawning red as you can see. That one spawned a red from the edge of the screen. Obviously that is danger zone. Danger zone. So even if you wipe out all the bases there's still going to be obviously enemies coming into the battle. A big gold spot up there. So you can't ever fully stop the enemies coming in unless you wipe out the six guardians. How do I... I guess I'm just special. But of course I don't really have access to that. There we go, defence, okay. As you can see, I'm using a lot of my power already. 
which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, let's just start putting these down. These are my snipers. Big attack coming in over there. I'll say bigger, as you can see, different types of enemies coming in as well. There we are. And obviously this is very, very early access, so there will of course be a lot of things missing, like multiplayer is meant to exist, stuff like that. Also, you get a lot of money for wiping these things out, so let's get a few more of these down. But yeah, you can see, your base is starting to really, really expand. Enhancer, Enhancer gives more items from your mines and better gold, stuff like that. Which I'm also going to deploy to somewhere useful. There we go, Enhancer. Increased productivity in a 3x3 three three area. Which means the perfect spot for that would be... Where is it? Here. And here. So yeah, I'm now making a hundred per time, so we can really start expanding. Oh, there's still defences which work on that thing. Yeah, how do you win the game? Just by outbuilding them. Yeah, I'm not the best. A large attack is coming from the east. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's actually quite a large attack for this game. Five thousand to max. Having issues there. Hopefully, we get another building to solve it. But you know, not right now. Still do here. Up here. How much are these? Fifteen thousand. Oh, I'm poor. I want to push onto this one, if I'm honest. So we will. Can't hit that one yet. New defense spread. No actually Okay, here's a machine gun. The area cooler. It makes the whole game. Slightly cooler for your pleasure. 4,000. Okay. What are you halfway through our energy usage? Uh, well, let's put another one of these down here. So, yeah, the game is pretty simple. But pretty fun. Like, it is a free to play early access game, which means there's probably going to be some freemium stuff going on with it. Just a sniper stuff, eh? Can I just delete these? Where's my delete button? There is no delete button. We just have a large amount of turrets down the south now. But another base is gone. Look at that. Looks like we've got three different types of enemies coming in now. Of course this is normal and it's also easy. Ish. I may be having some issues. I don't really see a way of expanding without, you know, running out of resources. Because these are expensive to maintain. Also, I'm spending so much money now. Don't really need any more. Okay, another base is gone. Oh! I may have upset it. This might be a guardian. Or is that just a regular enemy now? Oh, the regular enemies! 
Oh my god. Who saw that booger? Go on, there we go. Perfect! Okay, so we've got regular enemies now, but we've wiped out a fair few of the bases. There's no real way they can hit us unless they hit us really hard. We have a lot of stuff all over the place. Our problem, of course, now is we have too much energy being used. New defense air equal. Loads your heat output at 25, but uses a lot of power. I don't want that. Maybe a radiator? Loads your heat output at 65. I don't have enough power left. Okay, defense is what we got. You. You, probably. Right, so this mass amount of radiation to increase heat production. Oh! 250 heat, 20 power, yes. Yes. Oh! Oh my! You've not researched, can research can use research on a different text. Sure, okay. Research panel is T. Does it actually say T? No, it's just there. T. Okay, what is this? Hub. Increases power supply by 5,000 watts. So I now need mining on the purple. How do I get the purple mining? Ah, essence drill. Okay. So we need essence to, to do research. So it's four and a half thousand per one. Oh my god, look at this. But yeah, it's actually very fun. I would love to see what multiplayer looks like, if I'm honest. Of course you can't right now. Oh my god, the bullets are bouncing off the front of it. Luckily I am um, heavily into massive amount of turrets. Maybe we should have played on hard mode. Might be good for survival mode. Oh, I see why it's telling me there's problems. I am actually losing defences now. Okay, so research. We now want the hub a thousand. We are losing defences here and there. That's fine. We're making enough gold that who cares? Pulsar. That looks cool. It's actually going to be easier for me now I'm looking at this to put a... what was it? An enhancer here? And then have these two being enhanced. Actually put maybe here. Actually definitely here. Then it'll enhance these to 40, yeah. So it's actually easy for me to put two mines here and an enhancer. <sighs> actually, it's not a lie, but you need to put it here. Might be better to put one here as well, though. Okay, let's get the hub up. So now I have even more power at 10,000 max. Defences, good. Some snipers thrown into the mix. Whoa! Okay, we have to stop putting walls down. Okay, that's just a... I saw that. Okay, so we need to up the heat. 
because I really want to get the next equipment. The Pulsar looks kind of cool. But yeah, it's already quite expansive and quite actually fun. Considering it is literally free, this is very fun. Pulsar. This is Turbine must give us power. 40k is definitely going to give us power. Can I delete things? How do I delete things? Increase the uniform gold clips by 5. Health formulas by 5. Increase the range of defense bonus by 1. 5,000! Oh my god. It's going to cost a fortune to upgrade to a level where I can actually use them. Looks like there isn't a way to delete things yet though, so I imagine once deletion becomes a thing, then you can really start upgrading your stuff. Obviously right now, once you've built, you're stuck, because so I'd like to put some of those enhancers down into the, uh, this area, but I can't. It's really colourful. Music's alright too. Obviously I think it's just like one loop track, but it's actually pretty okay. What else we got in the research? Turrets already repaired themselves taking damage. Huh, increase the power by 5,000, yes. That's it, so we're going to get to 15,000. But it's going to give chance to poison an enemy. Hmm. Yeah, so research is very expensive. I think research was recently added in, so it's a little bit... Uh, bare bones right now. So yeah, research needs to be upgraded a little bit more. But I imagine that'll be done at some point. So what if I had a second one here then? What do I do with that? Just give me like a hundred. No, it's only give me forty. Can you do one at a time? All right. So how is it deciding how things are done? Is it how I place them? Watching it slowly go through. I think it is when I placed them, yeah. It's going to come and left it at that. Okay, more gold. Oh my god, really? Yeah, that was expected, if I'm honest. What are these? Oh, it's an enemy wall. Okay, they're just heading straight for my defensive base. Okay. We are now prepped for war. I sort of said this turbine does, I'm honest. I'm pretty sure it's more energy, but I'd like to know for sure. For sure, for sure. So normal is pretty easy. Obviously I'm losing a couple of turrets here and there. It's not exactly like a major loss. I have so many and so much energy and resources coming in. It doesn't really matter. And boop. Oh. But what are these things? I'm getting some Tron vibes, I'll be honest. And I like that idea. I like the idea of Tron vibes. Anyway, I'm going to quickly skip ahead because I want to see if there is actually a garden I can show you, then we'll wrap up. Okay. The South is launching its newest attack. That's. That's big. That has turrets. That's big and has turrets. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I've added a purple artillery cannon. We are dealing artillery stuff to it. It is not impressed. Oh my god. It's firing off so... Oh my god. So that wasn't... That... 
That wasn't a guardian. Is that just the latest enemy it's going to be sending from now on? That might have been a guardian, didn't say. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Nope, it's just straight up a regular common enemy because here's another one. Yay! Hmm. Okay. Yeah, these things are now just regular enemies. So these aren't these two attacks here aren't the wave. That thing just spawning, that's the wave. So about 20, 30 minutes in, big guys are just regular, casual enemies. Because, you know, that's just what you want. Oh my god. So anyway, yeah, I haven't been able to destroy the um uh, the Guardians. I'm not sure how to get them to come out. I have a fair few defenses all over the place, and I'm quite enjoying this game. It's actually more fun than I expected, considering it's a free... Oh, approaching Guardian! Never mind. Must be a time-based thing. It says the more heat you have, the more enemies attack you, so I'm upsetting them by a lot. So maybe it's a heat-based level change. Either way, a Guardian is approaching. I mean, Guardian Leviosa. God, I love these artillery platforms. Where are you? Where are you? The Revenant will spawn at 10,000 heat. It must be defeated in order to increase your maximum heat capacity. We aren't ready. Okay. So since it's at 10,000, we have a big massive attack. I'll meet you in a second. Oh, we have it. We have a literal boss battle in a tower defense game. 10,000. It's got a health bot. Look, it's just massive. It's actually going to miss our defence line. It's going to miss our defensive line. Oh, I can't build anymore. I literally can't build anymore. I've got no heat. Oh, my God. Hey, I have special turrets which remove heat. God, that's huge. Look at it. And there's six of these in total. We've begun opening fire upon it. Oh my god. It is taking very little damage. Taking very little damage. So I've started bringing these coolers down. I've got coolers next to heaters because that's the only way I can do anything. I've also been building these cooler turrets which actually cool down the area. But look at this. Look at the health bar. Now the odds are I can actually kill it before it gets to me. But this is just insane. This is the first of six. So yeah, you want to see this if I win. And also you want to try it out yourself with the other five. Link in, will be of course in the description downstairs below. But I have been the Fallen Shogun. So yeah, I actually quite like this. It's free. It's early access. There'll be multiplayer in the future. Ciao for now, people. Thanks to my patrons to support me every month. Thanks to you guys who watch me every day. And I will see you next time.